So this is Galaxy Tab. And this is in the middle of a park. Wait, why am I in the middle of a park? And this just got Galaxy AI with One UI 7. And I got to go and show you everything that's going on. Well, not everything, but a lot of things that's going on with this. And a lot of annoying things that's going on with this. Because to keep it 100 with you, it's a cool update, but they should have did more. And it's also a couple of things that's missing up in here that I don't know why they took it away. So pretty much all I can really do at this point is just show you what's going on with One UI 7 on my Tab S9+. Plus. <laughs> So I'm going to show you pretty much like, you know, just the overall look of the tablet and everything and like all the new features or whatever else. But like, I ain't going to lie, a theme of this is going to pretty much be that this is not tablet exclusive. Starting off with the design, right? Obviously, like we got new icons over here. Like we got a new Galaxy Store icon. We have a new Samsung Notes icon. We got a new Gallery icon. This is just new for One UI 7. You're not just going to get this on the new Galaxy tablet or whatever. And also, as you can see here, you can swipe up and down if you got the alphabetical order on or if I go ahead and switch that to custom order. We got the old design back here. Now, I don't know why samsung did that where you got to go ahead and have it in alphabetical order and you can go ahead and swipe up and down or put it in custom and you get left to right that's just weird to me but i don't know it is what it is i guess samsung just makes weird decisions sometimes man i don't really know like they just wake up in the morning and just do like i just god knows what we got a new battery icon for the status bar and pretty much the rest of the status bar just remain the same after that but we got other changes over here like the taskbar, as you can see right here. So this is very iPad-like, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Again, though, like, this isn't a Galaxy Tab exclusive. If I go ahead and pull up my fold over here, as you can see, we got the same exact thing over here. So that's nothing new. But they did go ahead and do something interesting. So I didn't see it anywhere. Nobody talk about this, but you can go ahead and change that. So everybody was making it seem like you're just stuck with that. But as you can see over here, if I go to display, I go over to navigation bar, and I, oh, wait, no, not, my bad, never mind. If I go to taskbar in the settings, and then we go over here to taskbar style, I can go ahead change it right back to stay on screen and we got pretty much kind of what we had before now some folks are saying like this ain't the same like from what we have when you are six but i don't really know it's a difference man they were saying you could hide it but i don't know it seemed the same to me we also got over here this is not exclusive to the galaxy tab but if i go ahead and press onto this folder icon here on my home screen and click on enlarge you can see that we have like a regular folder here we could just enlarge like that so we don't got to click on it first we could just get a regular folder like that and i think that's pretty dope man so i like this next up we got a new samsung dex logo kind and uh yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> literally nothing else changed about samsung dex this is exactly the same man but like as you can see here we do have the left and right there if we got it in alphabetical order for samsung dex so i i don't know man or actually no this is by type let me go and put it in alphabetical order and see if it still stays in that way Okay, so yeah, still left to right. Now, I did hear Samsung's gonna go ahead and change up Samsung Dex finally with One UI 8, so I guess we gotta stay tuned for that. Next up, we got a new nearby devices screen. So if I go over here to, uh, let's see over here. Oh, let me scroll back up. Getting too ahead of myself, but if we go over here to nearby devices, as you can see right here, we have this new screen. So I can go ahead and connect my phone by just dragging this over here. And as you can see, camera share will start. And it's pretty much gonna go ahead and do that there for me. So if I wanna use my camera on my Fold 6, I can go ahead and do that. And I can go ahead and change the different options over here to different features like multi-control. I got more features, so I could do whatever I want. And then I also got my TV over here. I can go and drag that too if I want to. I just replace that and I got Smart View. But I don't wanna do that. So if you wanna go ahead and drag it, well, I gotta wait for this now. But as I was saying, like if it wasn't doing this right now, I could go ahead and just drag this back and it'll disconnect, so cool. Next up, we got storage share on here. So storage share is actually pretty dope. Now, I don't really Really know if this works for other windows devices but i got my galaxy book over here my galaxy book 4 edge and as you can see over here in samsung settings i got storage share which is also a separate app so let me go and pull it up real quick as you can see and what storage share basically does is if i go and click on my tab it's not plus so if i'm working on like both of these then basically how this works is i could just go ahead and access my files up on here so now you can see it's connected and it just pulled up this window so i got my internal storage and i could go over here to see all my things like my downloads i could go back here i can see my videos it's dope bro i'm telling you like look at all this everything you can see right now is on my galaxy tab so if i go over here to my let's see downloads it's the same exact files man so as you can see i can see all my files over here i can go and pull up this music file and check this out so let me pull this up in uh oh they still got windows media player up in here look at this bro I still got my, bro, that's so dope, man. If I'm editing out here, I can go and transfer it to here. Now I can do the same exact thing as you can see right here with my Z Fold 6, but still. Now it's the One UI 7 daily board changed a tiny bit. And when I say a tiny bit, I mean a tiny bit. You want to see how tiny? That right there in the corner. That's literally the only change with daily board. 
It's honestly a little bit sad that we ain't really getting nothing else on Daily Board. I hope they add some new changes up in here. I mean, I guess you can see the icon change for One UI 7. That's about it. Now we got AI Select up here in One UI 7. So if I go and swipe over here to the side and click on AI Select, as you can see right here, it's, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of like Circle to Search, but it's Samsung's version. But it's not really like Circle to Search. I'll just show you here. So check this out. If I go and circle the weather here, as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and just box it out just to go ahead and smooth it out, kind of just make it make sense. Because if I want to go and take a screenshot of just that right there, I can go ahead and just move this around too and just crop that in some more. And as you can see, if I go and get close enough to this widget, it will lock it on for me. So that's pretty dope. But I got all these different options over here. So I can extract text. I can get a generative edit. I can go ahead and do a GIF, as you can see right there, create a GIF. I can do a wallpaper. I can go ahead and copy it, share it, do whatever I want. Or I could just go ahead and save it. And then boom, I'm done. We now have a new notification in quick settings. So as you can see, if I swipe over here on the left, I can go ahead and get this. So if I swipe down from the top left corner, I got my notifications. If I swipe down from the top right corner, I got my quick settings. You know, Samsung, it would just made a little bit more sense if you optimize this a little bit more and you made it like the Pixel tablet. Because with the Pixel tablet, you got the notifications on the left and you got the quick settings on the right at the same time. Why they didn't do that, I don't really know. That was kind of dumb. But you know what? That's just Samsung for you sometimes, man. I, I, I can't explain that. Now, here's something we also didn't get on the Fold 6. So we don't have a now bar. So if I go and lock this up, as you can see right here, there's no now bar here. And it's just kind of a Annoying. I don't know why Samsung is doing that, but like with these like older device, like this is the newer Galaxy, no, not the newest Galaxy Tab, no. I don't know if the Tab S10 has that in the One UI 7 update, but like with the Tab S9, we don't got it up in here. Now I don't understand why they didn't do this on the Fold 6. I guarantee you they're gonna put it in the Fold 7 though. But like this is the this is the newest phone out. So like what else am I gonna use? Do you want me to buy an S25 Ultra to compliment my Fold 6? Like hell no, like that's retarded. Come on now, Samsung. That's what I'm saying, man. Like Samsung, some of the things that they just do don't make sense to me. So yeah, we don't got the up in there and another thing that we don't got is really like any type of tablet specific features or nothing because if i remember correctly they did go ahead and change some stuff up in one ui 6 for the galaxy tab specifically but in this update it just seemed like they optimized it a little bit for this and then make it look blown up and like we just got this so it's definitely a little bit disappointing that's the least i can say about this but like yeah we don't have really any tablet specific features like that's kind of crazy to me and also we don't have just a customization no more so that's why i was saying i was kind of getting ahead of myself so let me go here to the settings let's go over here to display Play. and let's go over here to where is it navigation bar so i mean like it says right here swipe from bottom gesture navigation and gesture hint are no longer supported and then it says for the digital assistant whatever but yeah we don't got the gesture hints or anything you remember with samsung's old gestures we had like the back button gesture we had the home screen gesture and then we had the recent apps gesture we just don't got that at all no more now i finally went ahead and just switched fully to these new gestures but at the same time though i don't like that they took away our customization man but with that being said crazy enough that's pretty much all we really got for the One UI 7 update for the Tab S9 Plus, man, and just Galaxy Tabs in general, I assume. So Samsung Internet did not get any changes or anything. Pretty much everything is just visual. So we got new icons, we got the new, like, bubbles and, like, blur effects and whatever else. Like, that's just the all new stuff. Everything we got on the phone, we got in the Galaxy Tab and nothing else. So, yeah. Like, I don't know how you feel about that, but let me know in the comments below. Now, me personally, again, like, I have not done an update video in a minute, and this is the reason why I did an update video, because I don't see no updates. Like, clearly there's updates, but come on, man. There's nothing Nothing really specific for the Galaxy Tab like we used to get before. Like Samsung, you got to get on your stuff, and I hope they do that one UI 8. Even for the S Pen over here, let's go and pull out this S Pen. And as you can see, if I go and pull this up, nothing changed up on here. Draw and assist. I think we already had that. But yeah, man, like this is nothing new. I don't understand why Samsung is doing this to us right now. I love my Galaxy Tab, but Samsung charges all this money for this tablet, and then they just don't really do enough for it. Like I get, again, I don't really care about security updates, but in this case, I do. Because what they do is they put quarterly, I think quarterly updates on the galaxy tabs and for the phones they get monthly and like it's the it's pretty much the latest generation man even when i got this brand new it had quarterly updates and that don't make no sense to me they just cheapen it out on a expensive galaxy tab i pay how much for this 1200 1300 i don't care about security updates but when you're charging me this much and like i could clearly see you could do it with the phones but you can't well you can do it with the tablets but you just don't want to that just kind of bothers me a little bit and they want everybody to buy the galaxy tab so maybe they should just step up their game like i don't know like is, this, is that a crazy idea like Maybe it's a crazy, crazy idea. Maybe they shouldn't put me on the board of Samsung at all. Maybe that's why I don't work at Samsung because that's just a crazy idea to them, man. Like, I just put stuff out there. I'm literally a guy that just does YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and whatever else and just makes these videos, man. Like, I don't know what else to say. And that's exactly why I'm about to go and cut it right here. So I appreciate you for watching, man. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go give this video a like. And if you really like it, go and subscribe or go follow me on my social media at Decentec and Instagram and X and Facebook, but Instagram and X are most active. Like, pretty much, I can't think of anything else we really got. Like, we already had. Galaxy AI and there's really nothing new up in here so I mean like 
Ugh. But with that being said, man, y'all be smooth. I'm going to get up with you later and peace out.